this fair play 2333 and i want to give a salute to all my cinema cronies welcome back to the power book multiverse and cinema show where you get the latest in power universe and cinema breakdown I, I, I just want the life that in this can't afford we whip, we whipping them babies once you can't aboard not looking for beef but some you can't avoid and if i'm on a mission is you on the voyage Let's talk Junior Flash Drive from Sax in the timeline. Now, when we look at this timeline, we have to understand that Sax was dead before the Flash Drive was even sent out. So, what does that mean? That means that it's no way possible that Sax could have actually sent that Flash Drive out unless Sax was kind of like Ghost and he had all of this stuff set in place. Now, it's a strong possibility that Sax was working with somebody else on this case and that person knew exactly what was going on. Sax gave that person the information and that person was able to continue to dig into the case a little bit after everything was done and they were able to send all of this stuff out. So the first person I wanna talk to y'all about is Jenny Sullivan. And the last person I'll talk to y'all about is Ghost. These are the only two people that I think could have possibly done this. Now, first of all, it's certain people that we have to eliminate right off top. It makes no sense for them to send this flash drive. Um, they may not have the resources to send the flash drive or the flash drive incriminates them. So it makes absolutely no sense for them to be a part of this part of everything. Noma. Noma is a part of the crime family and it implements her in the crime and that's the one they trying to get. No way it was Noma. Um, when we look at Obi, Obi was the one who benefited for the green cards. No way it was Obi. Um, Monet and the Tejadas. It's no way that they would want Tyreek name tied up in anything that would be a Rico because they would be tied to that. Davis. Davis could possibly be known as the consigliere and he would be tied into the Rico. So it's no way that he did or said anything about this. Now I've heard a couple of people mention RSJ. RSJ lost a couple of things but it's a possibility that he could have known about the green cards because we remember that um, Tate and I believe it was Stern was talking about some real estate development. So it's a possibility that he could have, but I highly doubt it was him because um, he has nothing to gain from doing this and everything to gain from Tyreek staying out of jail because Tyreek basically is the reason that he lost a couple of things in his portfolio and maybe Tyreek can replenish those once he get his inheritance effie loved tyreek we saw her warn him that kane was on campus trying to kill him so it makes no sense for him to send that out also you have to remember tyreek saved her from jail by putting sugar in the trunk and not drugs tasha wouldn't have did this tasha just want to see tyreek live thrive and she want to now if she wanted to get his inheritance and she was sending him to jail but he would still be alive so that don't mean she would directly get his inheritance but maybe his inheritance would pass on to the next person but i highly doubt tasha did it i've seen a theory where they said two bit now although two bit is really smart and he has a 2200 out of a 2400 on his sat 2-Bit is not working with the cops under no circumstances. He has so many chances to snitch to save himself, and he didn't. He despised rats. He even got spank whacked for ratting, and that was his best friend he grew up with. Now, before I tell y'all about Jenny and Ghost, I want y'all to go to Facebook and join Power Book Multiverse and Cinema Group. Become a member over there. We are now at 4,000 members in just three months. The next thing I want y'all to do, if you have an Instagram, go follow me at F-A-I-R-P-L-A-Y underscore 2333. Now, when we look at Jenny Sullivan, um, I think it was a hint that it could have possibly been her who sent this flash drive out because when we look at the situation, Jenny got burnt and Sax got burnt. Sax really revealed his true feelings to her and said he wished he would have been with her. He wished he would have been in a relationship with her. And now she felt really bad about what happened to Sax. But I think the clue was is that when Sax told her I can be just as dirty from here as anybody else, right? So I think in that possibility, Jenny was the person who was working the closest with Sax. Jenny was the one who would have knew all the information he would have knew. 
which means Jenny would have been the one who knew about Noma already. Jenny would have been the one who knew about Obi already. And Jenny would be the one who know about Tata already. Jenny would be the one who know about Tyreek already. And Jenny would also have um, the vendetta against Tyreek because of what happened with him in court and how Lauren basically burned her on the stand and kind of ruined her career, right? So when we look at that situation, she would be the one who would know and remember, I keep, I want to point this out to y'all again. Sax said that I can play just as dirty from here as anybody else. Now, when you hear Sax say that he can play just as dirty from here as anybody else, um, that should put you in a position to see and understand, okay, well, with Sax saying this, maybe Jenny Sullivan, she got that little light bulb over her head, the little idea light bulb, and she said, you know what? Um, Sax can play dirty and there's no repercussions to him so maybe I can play dirty as well and with Jenny understanding who Junior is knowing that he's a new uh agent and knowing that Junior also is connected to Angela Valdez and also knowing that the St. Patrick family is the reason for him being dead Jenny could send that over to him knowing that he would have the motivation more motivation than anybody to try to get Tyreek St. Patrick out the way and basically avenge the death of his auntie. So I think Jenny Sullivan is probably the best character to think did it of, of the characters who are alive, right? I think she has the most motivation and I think she has the most to win from it. Now, how do she win from this? Well, everything she been saying about the St. Patrick case and everything that she said about Effie, all of that comes back around if this, if Junior's able to take this flash drive and make it exactly what it is, right? Now, once Junior tie all of these things together, if he didn't get killed, now Jenny Sullivan can go back to her boss and say, hey, I told you this all the time. This is what I was saying. This is all the old information I put up. This is the information that I I wasn't able to use in court and now we can use this to nail pa uh, the St. Patrick and also we can get my job back. Now, where did we see this happen? We saw Sax come. He was fired. We saw him come back with some new information and we saw him able to get his job back. So I think that could 100 percent happen with Jenny Sullivan. And to me, she has the most to gain from this situation now. The other person who could have something to gain from this, Ghost James St. Patrick. Now, we already know that Tyreek has shot him. We don't know if he's dead or not. I believe he's alive. A lot of people believe he's coming back as a hallucination. I believe that he'll come back as a hallucination. And I also believe he'll come back in the physical form. Now, um, we may see Tyreek shot in this process. He may be having a near-death experience. He may be uh, on his last breath. And I didn't think about this until now, but the feds could say, hey, you in WISSEC, your son is about to die. We can't risk exposing you, but if you want to see him before you die, you can. So it's a couple of ways that this situation could actually play out where Tyreek could really uh, have that heart-to-heart -heart moment with ghosts he never got a chance to have. Now, if we pay attention to this if we believe that ghost is holding a vendetta against Tyreek or he's waiting to come back to avenge him but he don't want to kill him we've already seen ghost put Kanan in jail for 10 years so we know he'll snitch on somebody we saw him kill Breeze so we know he'll kill somebody he told Tyreek don't make the mistake of thinking you smarter than me ever again son so this could be chess um what ghost could possibly be doing is ghost could be getting rid of Tyreek and getting Tyreek out the way in order to make his huge return now um, when he come back I don't think that Ghost is gonna kill Tyreek but we never know um, I just feel like if power killed Tyreek off at this moment and he got more things coming up it would do the show a disservice but they may be trying to move away from the Tyreek character. I highly doubt it because he's so young and they spent so much money on him with marketing and promotion and um, they done put him in the scene and he been in the show for 10 years and he can actually move over to another uh, version of power and maybe play a lawyer, maybe play a politician. 
um, maybe even go into real estate and be RSJ protege. I don't see this happening, but it is still a strong possibility that Ghost is the one who sent this flash drive out. It's a strong possibility that Ghost would have been able to send all of these letters out. Now, the one thing we haven't seen, we haven't seen Stephen Ott since a lot of this stuff went down. And Stephen Ott seemed and appeared to be very invested in the downfall of Tasha. And he also appeared to be very invested in getting that Rico started, right? And with that Rico, I believe that he know that Rico would tie Tyreek St. Patrick into it, or maybe he didn't. But if he's looking under these pretenses, maybe if Ghost is in Wissex, Stephen Ott could have sent these things out. Stephen Ott could have made sure that all of this got to the people that it needed to get to because he want to play a dirty game. And then when you finally reveal that Ghost is alive, because Ghost could have told him that Tyreek is the one who shot him. And then when you reveal that ghost is alive Tyreek will basically be out the way but obviously these plans was foiled when Junior was killed so we'll have to see but if I had to guess I would say Jenny Sullivan is the very first person that come to my mind who will have the most to gain from sending this uh, flash drive out in Sack's name because another thing you have to understand is that um, everybody else got a letter. So why didn't Junior get a letter? Why did Junior get a flash drive? Why didn't Junior get a letter? Because that letter would have had to been written in Sack's hand writing. And if Junior would have got a letter, anybody around would have been able to compare Sack's hand writing from the work that he's done around office or he could have took it to Jenny, uh, Junior could have took it to Jenny and they would have been easily able to confirm that that wasn't Sack's hand writing and somebody else sent it. But if you just send a flash drive and let him uh, go over the flash drive, he'll find out all the information that's in there. Then you have to remember when you type, you can't tell who typed that. Like it's just anybody could have typed that. And that's one of the main things, you know, um, when you watch all these movies and these TV shows and they send those ransom letters, um, it's always typed up. It's never handwritten. Even when you think about America, when the president sends out an executive order or a motion goes to court, anything like that, um, those things are typed out. They're never handwritten. So in my personal opinion, if I had to do a percentage, I would say it's a 60% chance that Jenny is the one who sent out that flash drive. And I would say it's a 40% chance that Ghost or somebody tied to Ghost sent out that flash drive. Um, I need y'all to drop below in the comments and let me know what do y'all think about this theory do y'all think that jenny or ghost sent out the flash drive salute to all the cinema cronies check out my original chicago hood movie in the end screen no time to play fair if your favorite chicago rapper turned his mixtape or album into a movie it would be no time to play fair starring and directed by me fair play 2333